Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Hi, Wendy. Good evening. Great to see you. Uh, Jorge, good evening as well. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Olga, hello. Oh, my God. Nice to see you. Hello, How are you? Nice hello. to meet you, too. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Really, really glad to see you. I saw like these previous days that you were having problems with the internet and with the access. Was everything okay today? Yes, I'm okay today. Okay, I'm glad to see that and I'm glad to see you here. So thank you so much for joining, Olga. Really, really thank nice. You. Thank uh, you, teacher are already so thank you guys uh, for joining as well so wendy i see you super early so thank you so much for that and george thank you so much for joining as well so really cool to see you how you doing did you have a good day uh, i think i have i had a good day teacher you had a good one. Okay, okay, nice. That's well, really good. To kind do. of easy. Easy. That is okay. Easy, busy. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. And I hope, you know, the rest of the week goes smoothly as well. So thank you so much, guys, for taking the time to join today's session um, and to be with us, right? So hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, Mr. Rivas, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Really nice to see you, Mr. Rivas. We oh, missed you good. yesterday. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, uh, great. Are you home today? Workaholic. I am. You are a workaholic. Why? <laughs> it's a lot of work, teacher. Oh, I understand. Carlos, what do you do? What is your uh, your job? Uh, Carlos? Uh, I supervise her in Samsung, service center of Samsung. But you were not the one who were giving a presentation or delivering a presentation this week, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, were you? Okay. For some reason, I confused your voice with Mr. Uh, Badge's voice. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so you are working on the presentation, I guess. Uh, the first time, uh, no presentation. Okay. But I am supervisor in service center of Samsung. Okay. And also working... Uh, a webmaster. Okay, so I think you are an engineer or a developer. Debe no, only administrator. The site. Okay. Oh, okay. Photograph. Photograph. Yes. Um. Okay. Do you do you? Okay. Wait. Hold on. I got confused. I think so. <laughs> um, I do work, teacher. You have two jobs. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so one you work for Samsung and the other? From 8 to 5 p.m. with Samsung and mm -hmm. uh, 6 p.m. at midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, webmaster. You work for web, but uh, is that like a webmaster? Is that a company? Uh, no, it's a uh, it's a owner side. Okay. And administrator that side with. Uh, oh, so you're the admin. So you give maintenance and everything. Yes. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's why we have missed you a lot these days. Okay. <laughs> That makes sense a lot. All right. But whenever you have the chance, you know, it is not a bad idea that you can connect and you can participate too, because it helps you a lot, right? I know that you manage a, a lot your technical vocabulary, but it will help you a lot also to communicate. So 
Okay. If you got the time, that would be amazing to, to have you participate as well. Okay, thank you so much, Carlos, for, for being here and the best of luck with your second job. <laughs> okay, I totally get that. So, Nelson, good evening, really good to see you. Hi, Christia, be careful, please, if you're driving. Um, I hope you get home sound and safe. Uh, thank, thank you me. for joining. Really, really nice to see you there. And uh, I have Tatiana. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, Diana. Good evening, guys. Uh, Tatiana, I don't know if you're working. So if it's so, I'm sorry. Okay. Guys, why are you so workaholic? <laughs> no, no worries, guys. I totally get that. We need, everything is expensive nowadays. Okay. Uh, but really, really cool to have you guys. Uh, really nice to share one more session with you. Claudia, good evening. Thank you so much for joining as well. Uh, well, guys, we are going to start checking today a little bit of a, um, conditionals. We are going to review conditionals a little bit. And we are going to continue talking a little about some conflicts that we can have. But first, let's develop some um, abilities to tell stories. Um, take a look at the picture we have right here. Um, we have six different pictures. They represent everything and nothing at the same time. So this is called storytelling, all right? Um, First, guys, uh, what do you see over here? What do you think uh, these pictures represent? They are super isolated. So you see like a computer here or a desktop. What else do you see over there? How do you call these little vegetable guys? What, what is this? Pepper? Okay, yes, there we go, like bell pepper, peppered, okay, um, green pepper, red pepper, sweet pepper, so whatever you want to call it. We have all of those things. Uh, what are yeah, they? Mm, okay, very nice. And this little animal? Bird. Yeah, right, we don't know what type it is. How do you call this something that you can put on your hair, over your hair? Uh, hair? <laughs> Uh, yes, <laughs> that's a sort of hair. But for example, if you want to be blonde and you don't want to change your color, so you just put something on, uh, on top of your a hair. Wig. Or a wig, perfect, yes. There we go. So we have a wig right there. Uh, and we have the last. So we have several colors. What do you think they represent, guys? Any idea? What do they look like? Like ice cream. Okay, probably ice cream. What else? What else comes to your mind? We have everything and nothing here. So what do you think it represents? Material for to paint. Mm, okay, so probably yes, material to paint. Anything else? Ice cream, you said. All right. Is there anything else that comes to your mind with this one, with this little picture right here? Painting. Okay, yeah, right. Looks like painting, painting materials, some ice cream, okay. Okay, so this is called storytelling, all right? Guys, I'll give you like three minutes, okay? Uh, we are going to work on these um, individually. And from the six pictures you have there, we are going to try to make a story, all right? So first, I, I'm going to give you three minutes so you can think about what can you say or what kind of a story you can make uh, using these pictures, right? So hi, Mr. Baye. So you have a, a um, desktop, but you have a bell pepper. So how can you like put these things together, right? And then we have a wig and a little bird. So what idea do you think you can make up using all the pictures? We have six pictures. Let's try to make up a story and the order is up to you. You can begin wherever you want. A super short story, but of course, guys, a story that makes sense, right? So a story that... Um, 
Okay, a story that makes sense, a story that we can use, all right? So guys, let's get started. Please, we have like three minutes to make a short, short story. Okay. Already, guys, two more minutes. One more minute, guys. It is a super short story. So one minute. Finish.
Okay, very nice, very nice. Well, guys, we are going to try to put like all these stories together later on. So, okay, Jorge, tell us about your story, please. What were you able to come up here? Is that a funny story? Is that a crazy story? What kind of a story is this one? I think it's a weird story. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's get it started. So what can you tell us about the pictures here? Then okay. I see Mr. Palmas hand up, okay? So Jorge, let's get it started with you. Like you can tell us just the beginning and Mr. Palma can continue your story. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, this, so this, Jorge, this, let's start. This, this story happened yesterday. Okay. So it is a real story based in three, uh, based on three oh, events. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yesterday, I was looking in my, in my computer about, about the homework for English class. Okay, but, we don't but, have homework. <laughs> okay. But, but suddenly, okay. I get hungry and I prepare a pepper salad. Oh, okay. Uh, when I finish, when I finished it, I saw in the window a beautiful bird singing. Okay. It looked like it was painted. Oh, but nice. At that moment, I remember I had to pass for my for jewelry for my girlfriend and also yeah. bought a week a week for her. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that was a, like a really nice story. I would say just the part of the week was kind of, what? <laughs> okay, wow, well, oh, but very nice. Okay, I like the way you put this uh, bird and the painting together. Super nice. Okay, so Manuel, let's go with your story. What can you tell us? Is it different or, or, or similar to Jorge's story? It's similar, teacher. You are, you are laughing already, so what's going on? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh... Continuing with the history, uh, I, using my computer, I tried to, to paint a beautiful young girl mm -hmm. ah, okay. with earring, but I couldn't. I decided to feed a, a, little, a little birdie that stopped in my window with uh, red peppers. Feet. Okay. Yes, that's all. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you decided to feed the bird yes. with some bell pepper. Okay. Yeah, with the seals. Ah, with, oh no. Okay. I don't know what they eat. So, okay. That sounds yes. all right. <laughs> okay. No, but that was a little bit different. Okay. Uh, Wendy, yes, Wendy, let's go with you. I try. Uh, it's, it's difficult for me the time and all in the world. <laughs> no worries, no worries. This is why we do it to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, a woman put 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 the earring. She she is paint and go a bird, and she watch in a computer a cooking a cooking dollar with pepper. Okay. A woman, a woman. In the computer? Ah, she watched in the computer, right? In the computer. So she was in the computer and she watched. Okay, some jewelry yeah. and jewelry and a salad. Cook. Oh, no, she cooked. Una, una receta. Es que por decir salad, eh, no hay algo como decir receta, por favor. Okay, with pepper. a recipe. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. That's a recipe. 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 Oh, Recipe okay. with pepper. Oh, okay, no, but you did it nicely. Okay, thank you so much. I think I saw Olga's hand up. Okay, Olga, let's do it. Let's go for it. Is is your story similar or is your story different from no. the one the other no. guy mentioned? It's uh, no. different. Different, perfect. Let's listen to that. Okay. The earrings to go to Paola's graduation party. The beer was from the window while uh, I choose to put on a wheel and chat with her friends. She will paint her hair red just like the kitchen chili. Wait, she decided to color her hair? I, I didn't catch the last part. She, she decided to color her hair? 
with the color of the chili. Uh, Olga, can you mention the last part, please? Uh, she will paint her hair red, just like the kitchen chili. Ah, yes, okay, okay, got it, got it. So this was going to be the color of the hair. Okay, okay, very nice. Yes, I heard like all these uh, different words and all the pictures included. Okay, very nice, guys. And I think that most uh, may have like a very similar story. So really good job. Before moving on, let's just take a look at some words that can be kind of problematic sometimes, uh, but it's just a matter of practicing. Um, so we can get that right. So we have this one, we have this other word, we have this, um, we have this other word, and we have this other word. Okay. Okay, guys, those are the words we have. So um, in English, they are super similar, but they are different at the same time because we have this little sound that makes them a little bit different. So guys, let's go with the first word. So this first, the I'm gonna write next to them, kind of the way we can listen to them. So this is kind of, uh, uh, okay. bird, yeah, kind of that way. <laughs> okay, so the first word guys is kind of bird, super close, right? You close your mouth a lot. So repeat with me, bird. 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 Okay. Bird. So you clo close your mouth. Close your mouth. Bird. Bird. Okay. Bird. Next bird. one. Bird. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your birthday. So bird. bird. Kind of a C, but a um, Spanish Z. So bird. Next one, guys. That is beer. Bird. Right? So this bird. one is kind of a beer. Uh -huh. bird. Do you like beers? So bird, birth, beer. beer. Uh -huh. So that's a little different. Next one. Oh, look at the next one. It's very similar too. But this is bird. Yeah. Open bird. Bird. Yeah. Bird. I like birds. Study birds. Right? Bird. Super open. And the last one is, how do you pronounce the last one, guys? What men have in this part of the face? What is that? Beer. Yes, beard. that is beard. Exactly. Beard. So it's that's beard. why they can beard. beard. We can make I it a little have, bit bigger. I have a long beard. I have you have like two or three hairs <laughs> in the <this> beard. <laughs> okay. So super quick, guys. Give me one example using the first word that is bird. Remember, close your lips, close your mouth. So bird bird guys one more time let's repeat this one uh, beard. 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 beard bird 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 super close bird. Cierra los labios. Labios. close bird. your mouth bear 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 yeah teddy bear bird bird so close your mouth a little bird. bit okay good bird. give me one example using the first word please the, the Torogos is the national bear of, of from El Salvador. Oh, very nice. Yes, yes. I, that's a really good example. Another? Give me another, guys. I have a pet. It's a bird. I have a bird, it's a bird. Oh, very nice pronunciation. That's nice. Okay. What about this one? Can you give me an example with this word? I'm going to skip the other because the other is easier. What about this? Can you give me an example with this? I don't drink beer. I don't drink a beer. Uh, pr Pronúncela como esta. Try to pronounce it this way. Uh, so, I don't lea drink esta. a beer. Uh, lea, no lea la palabra, sino lea esto, mis. Así como lo ve. Read it. Uh, sí, beer. Uh, beer. Yes, beer. Exactamente como se lee acá. I don't like beer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other example with beer? I believe Friday, I, 
I need a beer. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> okay, okay. What about this one, guys? Bird. I look bird. Bird. This is super open, right? Can you give me an example with birds? Do you like teddy bears? The old bird is in the zoo. Oh, okay, open the sound a little bit more. Okay. Un poco más clara, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. old bear is in the zoo. Very nice. Yes, super clear. Okay, nice. Can you give me another example, guys? Maria Elena, can you give us some? Norma, can you give us some examples? Any other example, guys? Mary. I saw a big, a big bear in the TV. Very nice, exactly. So the, the sound is very open, right? So bird, bird. And the last one that is what Mr. Palma has, uh, and that is super, um, I don't know. He has a lot of this. <laughs> okay, so that is a beard. Guys, nobody has a beard? A long beard. <laughs> nobody has it? Jorge, no, right? So you look kind of clean shaved. Nelson, do you have a beard? Was... No, right? No. Boys, nobody has a beard. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So th that is the difference, right? Between like these words. So just like for you to know FYI and so we can pr continue practicing these words and to make sure, right? We get that. If it helps, uh, next to the words, you will see kind of the pronunciation. It is not exactly the pronunciation, but you can have a, like, you know, um, like a guide, right? Uh, in case you forget how to pronounce them. Now guys, uh, we're gonna start working today. We're gonna be checking a couple of things, but uh, mm -mm, we're going to get into grammar. A little bit because I know that you handle grammar a lot. Um, so grammar comes super easy to you. So we are just going to go over super general structures for um, conditionals, right? This is conditional number one. We are going to practice this in a couple of seconds, but it is important to um, know, right? To get familiar a little bit with these expressions. So for example, uh, here we have, if I study, I will pass my exams. So we have like real situations here. And in first conditional, we use the expression if, right? We can use whether to, if I study, I will pass. Oh, look at this. So we have a little condition and it is important to remember, or it is important to have into account that we will have a, a very specific structure. So conditional number one is real situation, things that are real all the time. So if I study, and then the next part, we are going to use will. I will pass my exams. So if I study, I will graduate. Uh, if I study, I will get my diploma. So that is super, super real. That is conditional number one. Uh, I have other examples for you right here. For example, I will pass my exams if I study. What do you see uh, is different from the, the one on top and the one below? Uh, do they mean the same or do they have different meanings? It's the same meaning, teacher. It is the same, right? So the only thing that we are doing here is uh, changing the order. We are just yes. translating or moving the sentence a little bit. So if I study, oh, if I study, I'm not gonna change it. And then future simple, right? That is a uh, will or the negative form that will be want. Um, another thing I want you to notice because in the material in unit number two, you will see this, is that in conditional number one, we have a comma when yes. you start with if. If I study, comma, that is for writing purposes, I will pass my exam. Um, then in the second sentence, in the sentence below, we have, I will pass my exam if I study. There is no comma needed because you have if in the middle. So we use a comma only when you start writing and when you use if at the beginning of the condition. 
Um, so again, this is only for writing purposes. When we are speaking, not really. You don't need anything else. So we use it to talk about possible situations and their consequences in the future. If I tell you, hey guys, um, what will happen if you, uh, if you tell off your boss? What will happen if you have an argument with your boss? Uh, we are going to talk about real situations. So not, um, you know, hypothetical things, but like cost and consequence. So conditional number one is very useful because we are talking about that. Look at the following. Here we have, if I study, I will pass my exams. If I don't study, I won't pass my exams. This is the negative form. So we use don't or we use won't. And questions, look at the questions. If I study, will I pass my exams? If I come early, will I get extra bonus? <laughs> uh, what is the most common question that you ask your boss, guys? If I complete the report, can I go home? Will I go home early? Right? So we can ask questions in first condition and two. Um, because we are using simple present, we have to respect if we have third person. If he studies, he will pass. If he doesn't study, he won't pass. Uh, but it is important this part uh, to remember that we need to use third person singular right here. So guys, um, let's talk a little bit about some of the normal situations that you have in your workplace, right? So uh, because this conditional is cause and effect, right? So we're talking about a cause and effect thing. We're talking about a chain, right? So normally we begin with if. So if, and then we are going to use the next part, simple present, and then we future. use a comma, and then we use future. Either we can use will or we can use want. So there is no problem. Talk about, let's talk about real scenarios, guys. For example, if I arrive late, guys, what will happen to you if you arrive late to work? Or if you arrive you late to your house, mm -hmm. you can get to give a discount. An argument. <laughs> okay, an argument. Oh, okay. Yes. So, oh, because that is the most possible scenario. So I will get a discount. Mm -hmm. So we are going to use will because we are talking about cost and effect. And this is like real a scenario. Guys, what about the rest of you? Does it apply for everybody? If I arrive late, I will get a discount. Like everybody gets a discount if you arrive late. Yes, teacher. It you are, okay. You are you get a discount too? No good boss, no nice boss. Uh, they don't you cover your back. No, actually he, he he if I if I arrive late uh, the first time he he always say, uh, try to come early tomorrow, okay? But uh, if the second time is the same, I arrive late, uh, the name is heads up. It's like a- A warning. It's a, it's a, I don't know. A verbal how, warning? Yes, it's a warning. Okay. And, and, the, and the, third, the third time, uh, is the discount. Ah, but you get three warnings. So three opportunities to arrive late. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so take a look at this. I will take uh, Tatiana's example here. So if I arrive late for work um, for the first time, right? I will get, so if I work with Tatiana, I will get a heads up, you said. So a heads up. Okay, I will get a heads up. All right, all right. If it is the first time. Guys, uh, Jorge, so in your case, discount. The first time, discount. No, not necessary, teacher. We have the opportunity to, to make a, a little... To make up for the time? Uh, yes, but also we have to try to explain why uh, we are late and probably we don't get a discount. Okay, yes, also some companies, uh, you can compensate the time, right? If I arrive 30 minutes late, 
I need to stay in my company 30 minutes after that. So some companies allowed or permit that. Wendy, is that your case? In my case, I I never arrive late. Arrive late in uh, one day in a year. Uh, how do you say me perdona? <laughs> Una oh, vez al año. <laughs> okay, you are you are allowed. So you can say I, I am allowed mm -hmm. so me es permitido allowed. right i am allowed to do that okay okay yeah. but when this so it is only you and your boss so <laughs> that is super <laughs> nice uh -huh. so you don't have like many things to worry about but the rest of of christian beans <laughs> okay i don't i don't arrive late i open the, <laughs> the office <laughs> you often arrive late no, I I don't. I open. He opens oh, the you office. open the office. <laughs> oh, okay. But nobody, nobody. Um, in in TikTok, there is this expression. Nobody knows. Nobody will know. I don't remember. <laughs> so nobody will know, right? Nobody will know this. Nobody will tell your boss. Okay. What other situation, guys, happens in your workplace? So what about the rest? So do you get a heads up or you can arrive whatever time you want? Is there any specific, uh, you know, a policy about that? It doesn't matter, maybe. In, in oh. my case, teacher. Yes. In my case, uh, I have a nice boy, a nice boss. Because when I arrive late, mm -hmm. Um, nothing I, will happen nothing happens not, yes yes and i i have a, a i am allowed i am allowed you are allowed to arrive late yes because uh, uh, sometimes i work on saturday oh but, like you compensate the time yes ah okay 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 so, but this is like very complicated in some companies, right? Even yes. we can be fired because we arrive late all the time. Okay, any other guys, what else? Let's talk about cause and effect. So what happens in your case? Mm -hmm. Tell us anything else, any other situation that is super yes. common in your case, guys? In my mm -hmm. case, in my case, uh, in the world, if you um, arrive late three opportunity in 15 days, uh, the boss discount the um, septimo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay, so that is if you arrive late in a row, oh, th I'm sorry, three times three times in a row this expression guys in a row is like one after the in other person. right monday Eels. tuesday wednesday mm -hmm. or in a week right so this week next week, week oh, and okay. the other one so in a row is like this consecutive okay. right so if you are right late three times in a row uh they discount they take your uh, seventh uh, payday and what else only that the day and the seventh. Okay, and the day. Seven payday and the day. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow, but it's kind of complicated. Okay, yeah, I remember that. That's so bad. All right. But there are like a lot of different, um, you know, things that we have to consider. And, you know, our companies are quite complicated. Let's change it a little bit. Let's talk not about arriving late. But for example, if I get sick, so imagine that you get sick or Claudia said yesterday, imagine that you want to go to Seguro Social just because. <laughs> so it is Monday and you're like, oh, I won't go to work. I want to go to Seguro Social. So um, what, what will be the consequence, guys? So if I go to uh, ease, right? What will happen? Is that okay? Is that permitted? It I is will, paid. I will lose all the day. Ah, okay. But <laughs> is it paid or it is not paid? Uh, it's paid. 
It is paid. Okay. Because yeah. yesterday we were discussing that in some companies, it is not paid. So if you feel sick, I'm sorry, my friend, but yeah, you know, get better. <laughs> so it is not paid. Uh -huh. But we have other scenarios. For example, some of us have bonus. In what teacher, scenario do you lose? Me, teacher may yes, be need another job because only in my job <laughs> happens that kind of things. <laughs> no, no, my dear. It's the type of a scenario I have to say because I worked in a call center too. So I felt it <laughs> when you were talking about that, you know. Um, yes, so... In my job, teacher, if the, the personnel of, of clinic so that you are some niece, they send you for the for your house. Wow, I need that job. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I get want... allergies. Uh-huh. Yeah, Can I say you, my resume, they get, please? <laughs> they, they want yes, get, you you can do it. it. The contagion. Yes, they want to avoid the spreading. Mm -hmm. They want to avoid the spreading of the illness. Okay, we can use the word spreading, right? Like expansion and, and, or spreading of the illness. And put in risk the project. Imagine, and I get allergies for everything. So I will be sneezing oh. all the time. <laughs> okay, I need your job. Okay, so here we have a, what are the reasons guys why, um, exactly, so why you are sent home, uh, why you lose your bonus, that is something very common, right? Um, in my why, case, yes. in my case, only date. Only? Only date, only date. They, okay. Give us more information. Give us more information. How? Or why? Solamente puedo ir al seguro. Oh, but in English, but in English, in English. <laughs> okay, you can go. Only in date. In date. Mm -hmm. Only. But I but give us give I us work. give us all the, the, the sentence, please. Give us all the idea. So you can go uh, to the seguro, you can go to the insurance, or you can go to the health insurance or the clinic. No, uh -huh. in my case, okay. only date, date in the it. Mm, but but give us more, give us more. I mean, ¿a uh, qué se refiere? Why? Solamente uh -huh. cuando tengo cita. Cita ya. Oh, okay, cita. got it, got it. O sea, but I if see, cuando estamos sick, but when we are sick, we use the word appointment. Yeah. We use the word appointment for cita medica. So date oh, is romantically oh, almost oh, like with the oh, doctor. <laughs> so <maybe>. with the <laughs> doctor. <laughs> <He's allowed. laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so we need to know more. Uh -huh. So I was I, I was I, not I, sure. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, appointment. <laughs> appointment, okay, not a day. I was like oh, only 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 in the only in a friend. What? Yes. It could be a good friend when you want to go to the seguro. <laughs> no, I was thinking, you know, like, oh, I never thought about that. So I can a, have a, a doctor that's my thing. <laughs> a girlfriend in a, in a, in a security. And when did you play yeah, with yeah. me? You know, I was like, ¿Cómo lo consigue? <laughs> How can you get that? <laughs> Okay, no, okay. No, no. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I, that would I be appointment. Uh -huh, appointment. That is an appointment. Oh, yes. Appointment. I uh, I I was I was sick. No, I was. If, no. if oh, yes. usamos para I eso. Usamos sick? para eso esta esta estructura, oh, Wendy. Why? If mm -hmm. si yo me enfermo. If, if I get I sick. Mm -hmm. So okay. Vaya, hagamos la, Let's do it together. I, if. If. if Mm -hmm. Dígame si yo me enfermo. If I mm -hmm. sorry. No, you're fine, you're fine. If I pero quiero decir si me enferma. So si me siento enferma. How would you say that? If I I feel it? No. Yes, if I feel sick. I feel uh -huh. sick. Okay, ahora. La siguiente, the next part has to go in future with will. If I feel sick, I will, I I will, will uh -huh. 
Yes, exactly, exactly. Or I will need to work, exactly. So this work. is why we need grammar, right? Because it helps us to complete the idea. Beautiful sentence, Wendy, really nice. So if I feel sick, I will need to work. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, okay, unbelievable, only, but okay. Only worker. If, okay, yeah, because it's only you. <laughs> There is no other way. Okay. Okay, guys. So give us more ideas. Give us more ideas. I'll give you like four more minutes. Okay. Uh, try to write like three possibilities, three things, real scenarios that will happen in your workplace. Right. Um, so for example, um, I worked in a place and I think that Tatiana will feel identified probably Diana too, that if you don't go to work, you will lose like one hundred dollars, so of your bonus, you know, because you don't want do you don't want to go to work. So those are real scenarios in a call center. In case you are thinking about working in a call center. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'll give you four minutes. Can you make don't up? Do that. Can you write some sentences? I mean, it's not bad, but. However, <laughs> when uh -huh. holiday is coming, well, <laughs> you are right. November 2nd, December, Christmas, forget about all the holidays. You're right. You're right. Oh, but okay. But we can make a sentence out of this. If you work on a holiday, Real scenario. So if you work on the holiday, you are earn double. You have double, double pay. You get, pay. Yes. You so get you'll bonus. get yes. Well, maybe a you bonus. Get bonus. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll get you'll get double payment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, if your day is what twenty dollars, you will receive forty dollars that day. Mm -hmm. So you'll get double payment. That's right. I've forgotten about it. I'm going to check. Do you prefer your holiday? No, I I have one sentence. Ah, you have one. I heard you said I, I don't want. <laughs> okay. No. If I spend my time on, on the phone, I won't finish the presentation for tomorrow. Ah, okay. Do you have a presentation for tomorrow? Uh, or only an example? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, sometimes you do. Okay, okay. No. Teacher. Yes. If I have a medical leave for three days, I will lose my, my attendance bonus. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you're right about it. Okay, <laughs> so you lose your attendance bonus. Guys, help us. Tell us about your job. You can it's tell us beautiful job. things as well. So, Christian, um, Mary, Claudia, you can tell us good things because we are feeling so down right now, <laughs> so blue. You can tell us about the beautiful things of your job, you know, so Nelson, Susana, cheer us up, tell us that your job is better, it's different, everything is just unicorns and colors. <laughs> Nobody, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, what, what sentences can you share with us? So uh, give us some examples, please. Give us some real scenarios that happen in your workplace. Um, so remember, we can use if at the beginning and next to this, we will use present and the next part goes with future, will or want. You can also change the order. So that will be will or want. And then we use if in the middle, no comma, and then we use present. So you can use whatever order it's nice for you and whatever order you prefer. So do you have, I, more I have an example? Uh, yes, perfect, Christian. Tell us. Yes. Um, if I wake up early, I will on time on my work. Oh, okay. 
Not always. <laughs> okay. So do you, think, get, yes. <laughs> do you get to work? Okay. Okay. I am super um, um disorganized, I have to say. So if I wake up early, I arrive really late to my work. <laughs> So because I need you to have wake. a lot of time. Yes, and <laughs> because like, you, oh. you wake up early. <laughs> exactly. And I just storm and I roll and I, you know, I walk a thousand times here around. I don't find my <laughs> stuff and I end up getting late to work. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Give us more examples, guys. What else There's do you have? Another one, teacher. Mm -hmm. if, if I improve my English, I will have the opportunity to travel for an energy course. Oh, okay. Are you serious? Is that for real? Could be a possibility. Yeah, nice. Okay. So crossing fingers for that. Really nice. <laughs> okay. Guys, anybody else? No more examples? Hi, Ariela. Uh, hi, Miss Teron. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Do you have more examples for us? Uh, Sylvia, more examples for us? Mm -hmm. Susana, do you have if more? My, for example, if my co worker was being in the day, mm -hmm. they won't finish their activities. Mm, okay, 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 very nice. Guys, I'm going to use a uh, Suleyma's example just with a little twist. If my co-workers, co-workers gossip about me, help me uh, with the second part of this. How would you complete it? Tell us, but tell us about something real because this, this happens in the company. So if my co-workers gossip about me, how would you complete this sentence? I will feel angry. I will feel angry. Uh, wait. Oh. Okay. Do you want to change it? Do you have a different idea? How we, can we complete it? I will complain with my boss. You will complain with your boss, okay. You will feel angry, yes. I think somebody else opened up the microphone. Tell us, guys, tell us. If my co-workers gossip about me, I will gossip about them. <laughs> <laughs> so that is going to become a cycle. Really, is that for real? <laughs> no, right. No. 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 Really. Okay. We are going to uh, try to do a little chain, okay? So we are going to start with this uh, sentence, all right? That says, if my coworkers gossip about me, I will feel angry. Do you know what a chain is? When the uh, other people talk to another people and talk to another people. I don't ah, know. Okay, <laughs> yes. So normally a chain is like a piece of jewelry that goes like this and like this and like this, right? So right now we are going to do a chain of events. Let's see how it ends. So how are we going to do this little chain of events? We are going to take the second sentence and we are going to start the next sentence with that. If my coworkers gossip about me, I will feel angry. If I, I feel angry. Feel angry. Uh -huh. what, what, what will be the result? If I feel angry, I will. More angry. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay. I will kill somebody. I will? Kill I will go to HR. No. Kill, some, <laughs> kill somebody. I will upset. No. I will be upset, but, but give us more. Huh? So if I feel you angry, know. I will. No. What do you do when you are angry? Yes, uh, in, my, in my job, um, we can uh, feel um, a complaint, inform about. Ah, okay. So you can fill out a complaint. Okay. So if I feel angry, uh, so 
Eh, Elena says, I will fill out a complaint form. Tatiana says, I will go to HR. Eh, Christian said, I will feel more angry. <laughs> what else, what else? Give us more ideas. So I, I will, will walk to the park. I will go walk, I will walk. Mm -hmm. Does it make you feel better? I will. Oh, let's include the step that we watch in the video. I will count. I will count to 10. So in the video, we saw this, that when you feel angry, you can count to 10, right? Uh, you can, you know, talk about your problems, talk to other people, etc. So let's say this. If I feel angry, I will count to 10. Jorge says, I will walk, which sounds okay. But guys, let's do the following. For the next sentence. Uh, yes? No. No, I, I say... I pray of God. <laughs> oh, I pray God. All right. So, okay. Okay. If that works for you, definitely that sounds good. So take a look at this. For the next sentences, we are going to be taking the last idea, the one that goes with will. So if we uh, here, for adding, example, we took this one. Or not. I'm sorry. Adding if or not. Adding if, but we will eliminate the will part because we don't need it anymore. So for example, in the first, it says, if my coworkers gossip about me, I will feel angry. If I feel angry, I will count to 10. The next one, guys, if I count, I don't need will, okay? If I count to 10, what will be the result, all right? Guys, I will give you four minutes. I will feel calm. I will feel calm. I will feel better. I will feel better. I will feel more angry. Because counting to 10 doesn't help me. I will still angry. I will be still I will finish tired. I will end. I will learn all the numbers in English. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do a little be change, better. guys. I will feel better, yes. So the next one, if I feel better, right? So everybody maybe uh, will have different ideas here. The idea is to make a chain. So vamos a hacer una cadena de eventos, right? A chain of events. So the next one, guys, the next sentence goes with this. If I count to 10, you finish. And then you start if, ta -da -da -da, and then you go, all right? Guys, uh, the next sentence, the next <laughs> sentence that you complete, we are going to try to continue, you know, continue talking about events. And let's see how you end this. Because in the previous one I heard, um, I will kill somebody, but no, not killing guys. Try not to in include the killing part. So we are going to go like this, all right? It's a chain of events. Guys, we have five minutes. Try to make a little chain, right? Try to make a little chain. So next sentence, it is exactly the same. So it be just like this. Let's see if we can create a chain.
Two more minutes. Remember, it's a chain, right? So we are gonna try to do a little chain. Okay, guys, are we ready? So are we ready there? Really quick, tell us the last sentence. Diga, en qué terminó? What is the last sentence that you were able to make, guys? Because we started here that the co-workers gossip about me. So if that happens, I will feel really angry. And if I feel angry, I will count to 10. If, if I count to 10, etc. But guys, give us, read, please, your last sentence. What is the last sentence that you have right now? My father will be so happy. Uh, what? <laughs> Can you say it again? Can you repeat, please? Uh, equal. My, my boss will be happy. Uh, but the, the full sentence, what is like the last part? If I do my job in a good way, my boss will be happy. Oh, okay. Okay, so happy endings. Okay. <laughs> okay, Manuel, what is your what is your last sentence too? If I am so happy, my family will be so happy too. Ah, okay. Wow, everybody has happy endings. All right. Wendy, yes. what do you have? Finish. If I help at my parents, I will feel happy. Are you serious? Everybody has a <laughs> sentence with happy? Okay, Jorge, what is yours? Uh, if I lose my mind, I will be crazy. Okay, something different. Why would you lose your mind? <laughs> okay, um, so Silvia, Sulema, I think I saw your hand up. What do you have, Silvia? Um, in, in my case, for example, uh, if I count to ten, I will I will feel better. If I if, if I, I feel don't better. feel better, I will speak with they. And if I speak with they and don't result, I won't give importance and continue my work. Mm -hmm. And if I continue my work, I will receive my payment. Oh, okay. In other words, it's like I need to ignore them. 
<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> makes makes a lot of sense. All right, thank you. Yes, Maria Elena. In the last, I am finished faster. Yeah, but can you read the full idea, the full sentence? I'm, I'm missing the first part. If, if I, I work, I finish too faster. If I work? If I to work more, I finish too faster. Oh, okay. So if I work more, I will finish faster. Okay. Okay. The good thing is that you don't have happy there. <laughs> so that is okay. <laughs> that is nice. We are good. Yes, Ariela, what do you have? Okay, um, if I sell phone services, um, my boss will give me more money. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and I will be happy too. <laughs> okay, very nice sentences. The good thing is that everything is related. Okay, no crazy sentences, no crazy ideas. I was expecting something more, I don't know. <laughs> um crazy but it's amazing it's super good all right guys now let's move on now i have a couple of questions for you uh now that you're happy and you end up happy <laughs> and everything gets to the happy part so take a look at the following uh, sentences we have here to discuss um remember this is real scenarios so my sentences, most likely my answers, will need uh, to take a future statement. So we can use I will or I won't, right? Uh, so all the questions are for you to just practice this and tell us about the um, cost effect thing. For example, what do you do if you get a headache? So guys, what will, what will you do? So if I pill. get a headache, I will, will take, take a pill. pill. Mm, okay, think about out of the box, right? Think a little bit out of the box. So out of the box is like, I don't know, probably different answers, different than normal answers. So think, think a little bit out of the box. Um, you have, for example, what do you do if you get a headache? You know, I had a friend. Um, who said that he used to get toothaches or uh, I would say, yeah, kind of toothache, a toothache all the time because of the wisdom teeth. So they were popping and he took pills and they didn't work. So he said, okay, the next time I get a headache, I will hit my cheek or I will uh, hit my jaw against the wall. <laughs> and he uh -huh. did it. That was super crazy for me, but he said, oh, that worked, you know? Yes. I don't know, guys, but that was out of the box. Have you ever done it? Taken to the medical, to the psychiatry. <laughs> yeah. Not even to the doctor, but to the psychiatrist, to the uh, to Diana, probably, <laughs> or somebody who well, can maybe, help this person. Maybe yes? we'll to sleep. Maybe? We'll to sleep. He will need to sleep, yes. So what, what guys, um, if this is what's going on, what will you do? Or what do you think will happen right right there? So we have a couple of, um, of really good questions. Like, what do you do if you don't understand your English teacher? So what would you do if you don't understand? You don't say, oh, I give up. I will feel defeated. No, I mean, you will say, oh, I will try to understand next time. I will try to participate, you know, more in classes. Or I will try to find a way to listen to more audio. So let's think uh, a little bit out of the box and positively. So guys, I'm going to um, ask you to take a screenshot of these questions. Let's practice them. You don't need to write anything. Just practice, practice, practice. Just speak, speak, speak. Give us a lot of options and a lot of possibilities. And then we come back. So let's, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. We have like five, seven minutes max. So let's go and practice the questions.
Alrighty, guys. So thank you so much for coming back. Uh, we were talking a little bit about some situations here that are super, super common in the workplace. Um, so let's go over a couple of them. Uh, first, guys, for example, if you um, if you cannot sleep at night, what is a super common thing that you will do? Teacher, okay. uh, I read, I read uh, any, what do you say, cualquier? Any? Mm -hmm. Any body or? Uh, I read a book. Okay, Whatever. so you read a book, a magazine, a newspaper, anything. Yes. <laughs> no, read a book. Okay. <laughs> okay, we can use the word anything, right? Okay, very anything. nice. So you read, guys. What about the rest of you? What do you do? So what do I you will do? Take, I will take a Loratadina. <laughs> Loratadina. Oh, are you serious? We can when you cannot sleep at night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. It's a serious problem. That is so <laughs> wow, no, I mean, seriously, that is new for me because I, I am, I mean, when you get allergies, loratadina makes you feel, oh, super drowsy, super sleepy, yeah. but I have never thought about <laughs> taking a loratadina when I cannot sleep. <laughs> Very helpful. Yeah. Oh my God. So I am feeling here like it has in cinco minutos, you know, in life hacks. <laughs> How to end up. Sleepy for one entirely day with Loratadina. Loratadina is more potent. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Loratadina, you don't feel the, the after effect, you know, that much, but but Loratadina, yes. I get it. 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 Ah, what is that? Igualito. I, I, I believe read a book is more effective than a pill. <laughs> than a loratadina. <laughs> no, I try with acetaminophen too, teacher. Acetaminophen <laughs> for sleeping. Yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. Life hacks. <laughs> yeah, those are life hacks. Yes. And I was thinking about, oh, let's get some milk. Let's get that. Oh my God, guys, do you have the, the solutions for like, okay, let's talk about the rest. <laughs> take, take note, take note, teacher. No, this is recorded, you fortunately. This is recorded, fortunately. I will come back and watch the Her video music again to relax. get it. What is it, what? Elena? Her music relax. Ah, okay, listening to uh, like heavy metal. <laughs> okay. Listening to the maybe. Or maybe I will drink a chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. That's what I normally do. So get a chamomile tea or um, I don't know, a, a sort of tea, right? That can relax you. You will but... be studying in English, teacher. And you will fall asleep in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very effective. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're terrible. No, but but interesting. I will try that next time. Okay, next one, guys. Um, so what do you do if you feel sleepy during the day? Now this is the opposite. Now um, it's like 10 a.m. in the morning. You had a yes. really tough day, and you cannot, and you are sleepy, but you're at work. So what is something that you will do? Teacher, uh, this is no, no 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 problem. For me, that's not called, well, why not? Well, uh, uh, some sometimes I I feel sleepy, but uh, that I that I do is uh, uh, drink a, a very cold soda. Okay, a Coca Cola. Okay, yes. okay, that helps a lot. Uh, Jose says in the chat. Watching the phone, when any falls on your face, the sleepy eyes disappear. <laughs> okay, um, but that is maybe at night. Yes, Tatiana? 
I will eat chocolate. Ah, okay. So you have some chocolate. Okay. A soda. Guys, in the life hacks. What else? <laughs> uh, a big okay. cup of coffee. Okay, so cup of coffee or the mug, one of a those big, big ones. Mm -hmm. A king. <laughs> oh, if that is possible, oh, you know, cool, sir. Cool yeah. Water? Cool water. Cool water. Okay. We, we, cool call, water. we have like a cup of coffee, a glass, kind of a glass of coffee. But there is this container that is called a mug, right? That is a, like a little cantarito. <laughs> so you can have like a mug, like a big, big um, cup, let's say. And you can have a mug of coffee as well. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's really interesting. Now, I have a couple of scenarios that are a little bit more, um, what, work related, let's say. Um, um, I am remember. Yes. Um, uh, someone, uh, my friends, mm -hmm. happened in this. And he, how do you say, saltar? Escaped. It depends. Jump. Saltar literalmente, like jump, or se saltó jump. La, la comida or something. What? He, no, he jump. stayed the, the car and um, se bajaba and jump in, in the street. <laughs> jump. Uh, to do what? For, for no. To wake up? To wake up. Uh, Oh my I'm God, jump. to wake up. <laughs> oh, so yes. jump, literally jump. jump literally oh, jump. Okay. Yeah, right. That helps a lot doing exercise. But when you are at work, imagine guys, you will be at the office <laughs> and jumping. That is not, um, I don't know. Your, your <laughs> I'm sorry, your? Your feet or your foot. You break your foot when you are jumping. Yes, yes, you can have, you may have an accident there. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Okay, guys, I have I some scenarios. Yes. Say, ah, you, you crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but if that works for you, I think it's quite fine. So guys, take a look at the ones we have right here. Okay, they are more real. Number one, what would you do if your boss messed up a project? or mess the project up, will you do anything or no? Would you say anything? What is the meaning mess? Messed up. So messed up. Um, yes, that expression mess up uh, or messed up here as we have it in past, is like arruinó, you oh, know, destroyed. Uh -huh. so, La regó oh. in our Salvadorian. <laughs> Okay, so what will you do, guys, if your boss messed up a project? Maybe will you do anything? Que sea lo que Dios quiera. Oh, but will you do, will you say anything to um to a manager? No, will you go with the I gossip? Can, I will get upset. I up. <laughs> you will get upset, Ariela. Uh, maybe. Maybe I try to hide my eyes because they say a lot. Oh, okay. But you will, I mean, you will not like tip off someone. You will not go to a manager and say, hey, you know, that was my boss who messed it up. Um, yeah. I will feel defeated. I will do it later when the words all come down. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so not in that very moment, but probably later. Okay, okay. That's all right. Guys, what about the next one? What will you do if you oversleep? You have to wake up at six in the morning. Oh, but you're super tired. And you woke up at seven and you start working at 7.30. Or you wake up at 7.30 and you live in Soya and you have to work at 8. So what will happen if you oversleep? If, you know, it's super late, you wake up and you need to work. I what will you do? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? I will, I will invent something. I you will call crazy. I, you I will drive like a crazy, but you know, but you know that you will never get on time. Because it's late, it's super late. 
So what will you do? Guys, life hacks. I, I will so, invent <laughs> something. Okay, okay. So you will create a story. You, you will make up a story. Uh, uh, what yeah. he said, the boss, my car broke down. Okay, my car broke down. All right. <laughs> Lie to her, to, to her boss. Okay, so you will lie to your boss. Okay, okay. So Tatiana says I will go to Seguro Social. <laughs> okay, so you will go to the doctor. All right, you'll go to the doctor. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Aha, uh, Tatiana has some experience. <laughs> okay, what else, guys? Any, any I other? Guess I have the real, but anyhow, I will go to the work that will, uh, that I will say. Is it Mario? You will tell the truth. <laughs> no, maybe I will say, uh, look, I have a diarrhea or something like that, but anyhow, I will go to the work. Oh, okay. Like, oh, I will do, um, I will do your company the favor to go and work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, someday, okay. someday, believe me, someday, uh, I was uh, oversleep like a one and a half hour. Uh, oh. After that, my uh entrance time and by and my boss called me and told me because hey it was late will, uh -huh. no he, he told me will do us a favor to come to the office <laughs> <laughs> and i said hey, sure maybe in one hour i will be <laughs> <laughs> okay that was so funny <laughs> but because you said that your boss is your best friend right uh yeah man not, not my best friend but but yes we will we are friends, yeah. So you know each other, huh? So you have like the trust, you kind of joke, right? Yeah. With each other. Uh -huh. Oh, but, interesting. Okay. But I like, knew that yes. he, he oh. was a little bit upset uh, okay. because uh, was he, he, but, but this boss is uh, uh, another boss that also was my friend. Uh, mm -hmm. But he told me uh, when, when we, we because we were working for friends in the same company mm -hmm. but he told us that the the time when we are at the office mm -hmm. he was our boss outside and your friends. friend mm -hmm. yeah. ah, okay he wanted he to make that. he wanted to be super specific in the office uh, employee boss employee and outside you are friends. Okay, got yeah, it. Oh, okay, but interesting. That was good because uh, all of us understood that. Mm, and respected that. Okay, okay, pretty cool. So that is a really nice uh, point that uh, Mario has there. You can say, oh, I have diarrhea. However, you know, I will do your company a big favor and I'll go to work. Tatiana, I think you have a story to tell. So go ahead. <laughs> no, it really was funny that Mario said they do me a favor to come to the office so <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I can do it <laughs> <laughs> life hacks <laughs> okay next one guys um I, I am sure nobody has gone through this one and I'm pretty sure that nobody has been into a situation like this however probably your friends um, the ones who like to go and drink on the weekend, you know, so you can tell us a little bit more about it. So guys, take a look at this. What will you do if your friend, <laughs> if, or if you have a hangover and it is Monday and you're still feeling super, super sick? So what will you do? Teacher, like, I, I will buy in a vending machine a Gatorade <laughs> okay. for my friend. Oh, for your friend. Okay. Yes, so, obviously. Okay, real, okay. real history teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, what about the rest? What will you do? So for your friends, right? I mean, you are a really good friend. And uh -huh. what will you do for your friends? Maybe we'll go to the east and <laughs> the Poor Seguro east. Social, guys. <laughs> So, Guadalupe, what would you say uh, at the doctor's office? So, you will go to, to East, you will go to the health insurance, you know, uh, company. And what will you say? So, ¿qué va a decir? ¿Qué diría? What will you say? 
I have dehydration. Mm -hmm. I have a headache. Mm -hmm. What would you say, guys? A or, I'm a or teacher. My could, job. Be, uh -huh. could be a yeah. stomach cake. Oh, stomach. I have a stomach cake. Okay, I have a stomach cake. It was really is the, the big problem when you are hungover. I, I have no idea, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I have fever. 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 Really? In the east, you can say uh, you have an intoxication alcoholic. It's real. You and, can and, say that. But, but in the, in the, in the medical leave? No, imagine. Yes, imagine. yes you can. If you say that in this in no. days, yes, you what? can say. I mean, I, you can tell the doctor, but what about in the doctor's okay. sleep? Because in the piece of paper, in the pink yes, piece of paper, it, it says the reason, it says or the cause, yes. right? It says why you're there. So imagine, oh, because he drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so not a good idea. I don't know, guys. What do you think? No, you can, but if you say you are, you have a stomach, I think they going to <laughs> ask for for exams or something mm -hmm. like that, and I think it's worse. <laughs> I don't. No, I, I. In that case, I don't do that. <laughs> okay, so you would okay, just a Gatorade. What you, maybe they 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 will ask. Uh, what did you uh? Eat. What do you eat? Uh -huh, or what did you eat? Or maybe later he will ask, or maybe you can tell us what did you drink? Mm. Just <laughs> water, <laughs> just water. <laughs> yes. I, I believe I, in my homework, in my work, teacher, the, uh -huh. the common thing is uh, uh, the permission you have to five permission for the year, you mm -hmm. can get one. Um, oh, I mean, without going to the doctor and without a doctor's leave, no, you can you ask can, for a personal day. Yes, you can take a personal oh. permission. So if you have a hangover, you can, but I guess beforehand, you have to notify beforehand, right? Or not? Yes, it doesn't matter. No, no problem. You can, you can get five for, for a year. Oh, but you don't need to notify, notify? You don't need to call your boss two days before, three days before? Yes, you can uh, call your boss and also in the in the website, of, in the platform, you can also make the permission. Oh, wow. Jorge, your company is super nice. Where do you work again? <laughs> I want to work. Okay. Wow, five personal days off. In, that is in, really nice. In, okay. In SEPA, in mm -hmm. SEPA uh, I don't know if it's still, but uh, maybe the last year at least, uh, they had, uh, I guess, three or five uh, per a month. A month? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a crazy, <laughs> but yeah. I, I will not work in SEPA, guys. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I don't remember if that was ANDA, but in the in the management areas, like in managerial positions, uh, but I remember they mentioned that you can have one day off during the week, but you can arrive uh, to work, for example, one hour later or leave one hour uh, earlier. And so you can accumulate like eight hours during the week and that is okay. Or one day you can not go to work. But I, I thought, nah, this person is playing on us, you know? But now that Mario mentioned this, I'm like, wow. So SEPA has really nice, I don't know, benefits maybe? Let's call yeah, them. I think, I think there are many, many there are, benefits. But, but that's because the is, is from the government. But yes. the government doesn't have a lot of permissions that way, you know. Probably yes, some teacher. places no, like that, SEPA. I guess that is because the union that is uh, ah, in ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, got it, got it. 
Wow, but that's really nice still. But but now, uh, mm -hmm. a few months ago, uh, there has been some changes uh, mm -hmm. since the port manager uh, mm -hmm. was arrested. So now he's uh, in jail. Uh, the manager. Yeah, the, the port manager. Mm -hmm. There is uh, uh, actually a few things uh, that was going wrong with a few years. But when you so, say port manager, are you talking about the maritime? No, the port manager is the the SEPA, SEPA manager, not mm, the, okay, not the yeah, maritime uh, manager. Okay, yeah. okay, got it, and got it. Now there is uh, some changes. Actually, have changed uh, the human resources uh, boss. Mm -hmm. uh, actually three or four uh, managers mm -hmm. have changed. Mm, in and a short period of time. Yeah. Oh, that sounds bad. So something is really bad about, about that, actually, right? Something actually, is going yes. wrong. Actually, mm -hmm. yes, but uh, now there are changing some things and well, revising that Mm -hmm. uh, was the craziness to the permissions, have, the benefits, yeah. and everything. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, but still, it sounds amazing if you can have like some days off just because. Okay, and the last one, guys. There we have. What would you do if you went to take an apple? Wait, has it happened to you, or has it happened to your friend? <laughs> have you ever gone to the bathroom to take a 10, 30, 40 minutes nap? Yes. Yes. How much? How much time? No, I I only take ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. Yes. Oh, but ten minutes is reasonable. No more than that. Ariela, how much? I never. I have never do that. But I think that that ten minutes it feels like a like a lifetime. I mean, yeah, like heaven, you know, <laughs> like you're in seven heaven. All right, okay. Uh, guys, more than 10 minutes. Have you ever taken a nap? Nelson, Susana, Norma, guys, have you taken like a big, big, long nap? Suleyma? If I get a nap, I don't, I don't wake up. <laughs> That's the problem. Sometimes That's I... Like I try to take a nap for uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Mm. And at work? No, no, maybe not uh, Not work. Mm. Uh, sometimes work is so difficult, but maybe at home. Nah, I don't have to do nothing. I try to take a nap, but mm -hmm. I get up three hours uh, later. So it is not a nap. <laughs> okay. It is not a nap idea. A nap, did you? Nap is when yeah. you go to the bathroom or you go somewhere. Some places have like a uh, like a game room or something like that or a cafeteria. You close your eyes and you say bye world <laughs> and you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but a nap is supposed to be short, maybe 10, 20 minutes, 30 at the most. But some people fall yeah, asleep, what? you know. Um, so it's in very easy to take a look. Yes, work, yes. In my work, in my, in my work, nothing. Yoga, <laughs> yoga. I, I don't know how do you say tapete de yoga. Oh, yoga pads. Yoga pads. And For you what? can take a yoga pad and you go to the office and uh, nap, take a nap. Oh, you can lie nothing. down and take a nap. Oh, beautiful. Yes. It is permitted, so it is allowed. Yes. How long? Yes, 10 minutes? 10 or 15. Ah, okay. But a short <laughs> nap. Okay. Yeah. So it is not something super long. Okay. And you wake up at 7 p.m. Oh my God. Where am I? <laughs> okay. So. No, in my, okay. in my case, it's, it's new, new work and it's new in, in work. Oh, no, but, but some companies, uh, because of the long uh, shift, 
Uh, so they have places where you can go and sleep for a little while. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, take a look at the last exercise before finishing today. Um, we have page number uh, 20, right? And we have first conditional. We are going to be checking, guys, uh, three types of conditional. This is first conditional. Tomorrow we are going to check second conditional. And hopefully by Friday, we are going to check the third conditional that is the last. All of them are different, uh, but they have a very specific structure. So guys, do me a big favor, please. And for tomorrow, complete exercise number five, only exercise number five from page number 20. Uh, in exercise number five, you will see that sometimes we can use will uh, for the um, for the result, but sometimes you can use other expressions. For example, you can use may, you can use uh, just the verb in infinitive or imperative, but sometimes you can also include might because they are not 100, they are real, but um, there is a big possibility that it will happen and it will not. So we can use may, we can use might, and we can use will in conditional number one. So uh, please guys complete this exercise, complete exercise number five, only number five uh, for tomorrow. I'm going to uh, try to remind you before classes so you can have the exercise uh, ready. So that is page number 20. Now give me just a moment. Let me just take your attendance super quick. Teacher, when you ask for homework, um, you mean the homeworks from the from the platform? The platform, right? Uh, no, this is just like for you to work a little bit ahead, right? And uh, mm. so we can complete the exercises. Mm -hmm. So right. in the platform, of course, the platform is the the one that you normally have to. Uh, complete by the end of the module, but this is just uh, for tomorrow, right? Um, by the way, talking about the, the platform, thank you so much, guys, uh, for working on it. I was checking yesterday, and I see a couple of people who are in unit number three already, so good job with that. I was like, wow, so they are like uh, moving really quick, and that is amazing because that gives us the opportunity to practice speaking, practice listening, you know, um, a little bit more here. So this, this homework, guys, is not in the platform, but it is going to help us a lot to uh, practice and get familiar with the rest of the, um, the rest of the, of the, I forgot the name, wait, of the conditionals that we have, because it is a lot, you know. We have a lot of conditionals uh, coming up. All right, guys, um, give me just a moment uh, to take your attendance before leaving. Um, please give me confirmation as well um, that you are right here and for the, um, audit purposes uh, so you can voice can be recorded as well. So give me one sec. Okay, I have Anna. I believe Anna is right here. Today is Wednesday. Okay. Uh, Ariela, yes, Ariela is third. Claudia, Claudia is right there. Christian, present. Thank you, Diana. I saw Diana some minutes ago. Jorge, present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, Juan Carlos, oh, yes, I heard Juan Carlos. Uh, Manuel Palma, Mr. Palma is right there. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Maria Concepcion, I think I saw her some minutes ago. Maria Elena, hey, Maria Elena, super nice. <laughs> Kudos, I heard you a lot today, amazing. Mr. Villeda. Uh, thank you, Mr. Villeda and uh, Mr. Valle is right Here. there. Nelson. Present. Thank you, Norma. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. I see Olga. 
and uh, Sylvia. Listen. Thank you. I see Susana. Present teacher. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, how are you feeling, Susana? Are you better? Are you feeling a little better? And Stitcher. Wendy. Okay, nice. Nice to hear that. All right. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for uh, for your time. Thank you so much for joining today's session. Uh, guys, uh, we are going to just complete, please, uh, page number 20, exercise five for tomorrow. Uh, so you can have this super, super fresh. Um, thank you for your attendance and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you guys. See you tomorrow. See you. Have a good night. Bye-bye guys. Bye-bye. Okay.